We begin tonight with the latest developments on a five alarm fire. Crews remained on scene today, extinguishing any hot spots from Monday night's fire. Now, more than 40 hours later, the investigation ready to begin. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner is back on scene today. He joins us now live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Mike Kelly, good evening. A delegation of ATF investigators. Kind of like conducting an orchestra. Providence Assistant Fire Chief Daniel Crowley was the man responsible for people's lives during Monday night's very rare five alarm blaze on Kinsley Avenue. The 36 year veteran called in to lead the attack. Today, crews were finally able to shut off the water and pump it out of a flooded medical marijuana facility nearby. The end result of a fire battle with life-threatening hazards. It was tricky with the electrical cords that were hanging and uh, the walls falling out. The chief tells of initial crew's survey of the engulfed vacant building catastrophe narrowly avoided. They're looking at doors, you know, to make entry into this building, and the, the wall let go right then and blew out on them. As it turns out, the inferno was burning a good time before crews arrived. Crowley says a blessing yeah, in disguise. Had that they gotten here a little earlier, they would have uh, probably been in that building when that wall let go. With the investigation poised to begin, this excavator and a forthcoming crane will help officials find materials of interest. A daunting task amid twisted metal, cinder blocks, and broken glass. When you see the aftermath of it like this, you just know the potential that it has, and it is devastating. It's fast moving and very devastating. And as it turns out, this could very well be Chief Crowley's final fire of his career. He is slated to retire in short order. Coming up at 6.30, he's going to tell us how this fire could have gotten out of control, consumed an entire block despite crew's best efforts. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom tonight, I'm Jared Kleider, Eyewitness News.